Planning for retirement is a very long-term business. It involves building up a personal pot of retirement savings over your working life, maybe 40 or more years. When you have saved enough, you can retire and then draw a pension from your savings. When you come to retire, one of the key challenges is judging how quickly you should spend your hard-earned savings. Should you splash out on a brand new Lamborghini, as one politician suggested? Or should you hold back and try to squeeze out your limited savings for as many years as possible? Research at Harriet Watts has focused on understanding these problems. What then are the key questions? How many years are you going to live? How many of the year, these years are going to be spent in good health? Do you want to spend more of your money while still in good health? The first of these, how long will you live, lies at the heart of our research at Heriot Watt University. For insurers, you might think that everything then averages out, but that is not the case. They are exposed to a very different type of risk. When they sell you a pension, they might be assuming that a typical 65-year-old will survive for an average of, say, 15 years. But what if it turns out to be 10 years on average, or 20 years? It is this type of uncertainty that can have a big impact on the finances of the insurer. So why do the insurers face this uncertainty? It all comes down to changes in life expectancy. Life expectancy has been increasing steadily over the last century because of medical advances and lifestyle changes. What we can't predict with certainty is what improvements there are going to be over the next few years and decades. Will there be a cure for cancer? How effective will it be? and when will it be discovered? These uncertainties make it difficult to predict future life expectancy and accurately price pensions. How much should a pension cost? How much risk is involved in selling a pension? How can insurance companies manage their exposure to longevity risk? In other words, who insures the insurers? For each individual, this is very uncertain and the best way to manage this uncertainty is to buy a pension from a specialist insurance company. For most young adults though, retirement is a very distant prospect and there are lots of exciting things to spend your money on today. You can buy a car, you can take a nice holiday and then there can be more pressing needs such as raising a family. So there are lots of opportunities for spending money that can give you an instant reward. A pension is very different. The reward might be 20, 30, 40 years away and hardly worth thinking about. But the advice is simple. Start saving early and save as much as you can.